Hi guys, I am back with another Dollar Tree haul and the majority of this one is actually going to be Christmas items which I am super excited about since I love Christmas. It is my absolute favorite time of the year and all of December pretty much is Christmas focused and it's really um, a big deal with me and my kids. We spend a lot of family time, we do a lot of winter um, and Christmas theme activities together and it's just a really wonderful time of the year in all honesty here at our home. So I'm going to show you that, but I have a couple uh, non-Christmas items to start with. Um, first off, I did pick up another one of the gift bags that I mentioned in yesterday's haul. So this is the avocado one, and it says strengthen your core. So like I said, they are very yoga um, inspired, which I thought was really cute. And just the little um, avocado on there doing his little pose I just thought was really really sweet so I'm excited to use this for a gift for someone coming up and then the other items I got although they're not Christmas they are winter so in previous hauls I mentioned that I was picking up some winter wear to put in the trunk of my car as like a winter emergency kit so I did pick up a hat for my daughter and it's purple which she loves and it's got the little princess with the crown emoji on there and then for my younger son, I did pick up this red one with the rocket ship on it. So these are nice to have as just like emergency backups. They're not like super warm. They're not the best quality that you're going to find. But in um, an emergency, in a worst case scenario, your car breaks down, you don't have anything with you. It's at least good for the kids to have something to put on. Then for their everyday um, wear to school, um, winter wear. I did pick up three sets by uh, the Cole Daniel collection and in it you get a nice fleece scarf and a fleece hat as well. So I thought these were really nice. Um, my Dollar Trees had the Cole Daniels um, previously uh, but only in two different designs. One was like a purple leopard print and then one was I think like a multi-colored polka dot but I wasn't a big fan of those so when they pulled out the um, solid colors I grabbed them up when I saw them. So there's this purple one for my youngest daughter. There's the hot pink set for my eldest daughter and there is an orange set for my eldest son. Um, these all match their winter coats for this year I'm still looking one, uh, looking for one for my youngest son in a green, so I'm hoping that I'm able to find that. All right, now diving into Christmas. So I did pick up a couple stocking stuffers this time around. So I got four pairs of the Christmas socks. I think Dollar Tree does such an amazing job when it comes to their holiday theme socks. Um, whether it be for Halloween, Valentine's Day, uh, even Easter, but especially their Christmas ones. So I did get this one, hard to see him, um, which is a sloth hanging out in a stocking. I got this one that has the fuzzy faced penguin and then it's got snowflakes and the green and red stripes. This one with Santa Claus balancing a tower of presents and polka dots. And then this one for my daughter, which is actually a Christmas unicorn on the pink sock. And it's got nice snowflakes on the back as well. So I thought those were really sweet. So those are going to go in their stockings. And then I also picked up some of the Jelly Bellies. So these are new to my Dollar Tree. Um, and they come in like nice um, kid-friendly packaging. I mean Jelly Belly's candy, kids don't really care, but it's kind of nice to have that added little feature. So this is from Toy Story 4 and it's got Buzz Lightyear on there. Also grabbed Forky, little Bo Peep. And then for my youngest daughter who's obsessed with Frozen, I did get an Elsa as well. All right, then I also picked them up each a package of Christmas stickers. So these are the glitter foil stickers by Holiday Trends, and I just thought they were really cute. I love how they're outlined in the silver um, and the gold because it makes them pop. So this is the first set I got, which has your snowman, reindeer, 
kind of outdoor winter theme to it. And then of course I had to get the Santa with Rudolph and his sleigh. Then I absolutely love this one. This is like a little Christmas gnome. And he's got some presents with him and the Christmas trees as well. And then your little elves. So this has kind of like a dual outline. It's got a silvery glittery outline and then a gold. They're just really, really well done for only $1.25. Then I also got each of my kiddos um, one of the handmade Christmas cards. So I did haul um, some of these a little while back, which I'm going to be sending out um, for friend mail and giving to family. But these ones I've actually picked up for my kids, so I got more of like the child-friendly designs, I guess, or the ones I thought they would like the most. So this one says, oh what fun, have a holly jolly Christmas full of magic and cheer, the kind that fills your heart with love throughout the coming year. I just thought it was really sweet. It has the reindeer, snowman, Santa, and penguin on there. And then the nice little touch of the wreath on the back. And with all these, you get the envelope in there as well. This is merry and bright, wishing you a merry Christmas full of laughter and cheer. Happy holidays, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And it's got, I think it's a corgi on there. I just thought he was super cute with his little Santa hat on his one ear. And then this one, of course, for my daughter. Have a magical Christmas. May your Christmas be magical in every way. And it does have a gorgeous unicorn on there. So I thought she would really like that. All right, then I did pick up some of their um, gift bags and gift wrap. Um, this is the only bag that I got for their Christmas bags. I'm honestly not a big fan of the designs that they've been putting out, at least not so far. Um, I actually went to Dollarama and I'm in love with their holiday gift bags, which I'm gonna be putting in a haul either um, later today or tomorrow, and I'm so excited to share these ones with you. But I did find one gift bag from the Dollar Tree that I did like. So this says Merry Christmas and it's got that narwhal on it. So again, for my daughter, continuing that unicorn theme from her birthday into Christmas. Narwhal, for those of you who don't know, is the unicorn of the sea. So I just thought she would really like that. And I love how he's wearing like a little toque and a scarf there. Really, really cute. Then I do love Dollar Tree for their Christmas wrap because they carry expressions by Hallmark. I did haul quite a few rolls of this a while back now, but this pattern I didn't see before. So it's like a nice teal color with the green accents. And then it's got woodland creatures on it. So there's a fox, a raccoon, um, a, bull, uh, a, boar, a bear, uh, almost looks like a polar bear, which you wouldn't really find in the same area, but still really cute and it's got the snowflakes and that on it. So I thought that was nice, and this one's good because you get 30 square feet. Most of the other ones that I hauled were only 20 square feet, which isn't a lot, so having the extra 10 feet in this one is kind of nice. Then I did pick up some of their holiday decor signs. Typically I don't pick up too many from the Dollar Tree because they have a habit of putting glitter on everything, and for those of you who have been following me, I am not a big fan. But these ones were just so adorable that I couldn't pass them up. I'm ignoring the fact that they have glitter on them and hopefully there won't be too much fallout. I know that a lot of the other haulers have mentioned if you spray it with hairspray, um, it kind of keeps the glitter on there, so I might give that a shot. So this is the first one I picked up and it says home for the holidays and has the famous red truck and the tree. And what I actually love about this red truck is it looks like a legitimate old-fashioned red truck. A lot of the times with the holiday decor with the red truck, it's almost more like cartoony or comical. Um, the gut has like a more of like a clip art type look where this one actually looks really traditional and vintage, which I love. And I also love how it's got like the faux wood background and it's in the shape of a giant gift tag. So, so many elements of the holiday season incorporated into one sign for only $1.25. It's such an amazing deal. Then I also did pick up the other one that goes in that series, and it says it's the most wonderful time of the year. And it has that gorgeous winter scene with the beautiful deer on it. And as you can see, there is some glitter in the snow. 
but so gorgeous that I couldn't pass it up. These are the only two that I did see in that design, so I think that's all that's available. There could be more. If there is, feel free to let me know in the comments because I absolutely do love that style. Then I was excited to find this one as well, and it says, let it snow. It's got this gorgeous snowman on it. But look at it, it's designed to look like a Christmas bulb, which I thought was absolutely adorable. And then it's got that like galvanized tin up here to even make it look more realistic, which I thought was nice. And again, has that like faux wood look to it and just a touch of glitter on the lettering. So this one isn't too bad at all. I believe they had another one with a Santa Claus on it, but I only picked up the one so far. Then I did pick up some of the um, Christmas house tea towels. So I picked up the microfiber ones. I did see the flower sack ones that some of the other haulers had been picking up, but I really wasn't a fan of them. I had picked up some of the flower sack ones for Halloween and for Thanksgiving that I showed in previous hauls um, because I just couldn't get over like the sayings or the imagery that was on them, but I'm actually not a big fan of the Christmas ones. So I did get four of the microfiber ones. So I got the gorgeous one with the Noel on it. And the red is just such a nice red. Bright and cheery, a gorgeous wreath on there. And like I've mentioned before, yes, they are microfiber, but they're not the kind that catch on your skin. It's nice and soft. You don't need to worry about it. I know some people don't like the feeling no matter what, but it's not your like traditional, uh, really coarse microfiber. It's actually quite nice. And the artwork on these is just amazing, especially for $1.25 here in Canada. So this one says, here comes Santa Claus. A holly jolly Santa there. He's got holly on his um, pom pom. He's got a poinsettia here. Then I got this one with all the cups of hot chocolate on it. Comfort and joy. Really, really sweet. And then I got the one with the snowman and the little red truck in the background that says, let it snow. But you see what I mean there, that this truck looks a little bit more like clip art like rather than the traditional vintage looking one on the sign. Then I did pick up one of their little tea light holders. They had a couple different designs, but this is really the only one that I liked, uh, which was the Christmas tree. So it's a nice green color. You get the gold star up top and then you have a place to put a tea light at the back. So I thought that was really nice and it's going to be part of my Christmas uh, shelfscape. Then I did pick up some of their tins. So I got this one here that says Santa's House North Pole Airmail. And I just thought it was so cute. I thought it would be nice to um, give this to my kids um, and tell them that it's come from Santa Claus and it's come from the North Pole. So I like how it's got that um, look to it. Um, you could also get your kids to write letters to Santa and put them in here and then um, either pretend to mail it or keep it somewhere where they can keep adding different things that they want to say to Santa or ask Santa. I know that my kids like to change what they ask Santa Claus for or they say that they forgot to talk about the reindeer or ask about Mrs. Claus. So this is somewhere that you could store their letters and even keep it as a keepsake for when they're older so they can see what they were asking Santa for and what they were like when they were younger. So I was happy to find that one. Then I also picked up these two um, with like the hinge treasure box style. So I got this one that says Seasons Greetings and has that gorgeous birdhouse and cardinal on the front. And then it's got the cardinals with the gray background all around the side. And I also picked up this one that has the cute smiley gingerbread on top and then the gingerbread houses all around the side. And again, that like treasure chest hinge top to it. The reason I actually picked up these two is um, for my mom to give as a gift to uh, two of her closest friends. Um, I got them these tins, which I thought we could put some candy in for them. And then I got a matching holiday mug to go along with it. So this is the cardinal one again on that gray background, which goes with the little tin. 
and I just thought that was such a perfect little gift to go together. Um, you can take the cup even out of its box. You can throw in like a little bag of coffee or a Timmy's or McDonald's gift card. Um, and then in here you could put their favorite candy, um, little treats for them, whatever you want to do. But I thought this was a nice start for a gift for them from her. Um, I like helping out my mom when it comes to Christmas shopping. Um, so I started picking up a couple things. So I got this one for her one friend. And then I did get this one for her other friend. This one didn't come in the box, so that's why we'll probably take the other one out of its box, just so that they look similar. But again, with like a matching tin to go along with it. I just thought that was super cute. I do like with the one on the mug that he's actually got a missing leg. Someone has bitten it off, but I thought that was rather comical. Um, as some of the other haulers have mentioned, especially when it comes to these cups, take them out of their box. Take them out, inspect them, turn them around, because I think I had to go through 10 or so mugs to find one that was like a good quality. Um, a lot of the time they'll have chips, they'll have pieces from the artwork missing, the artwork will be printed on the mug, um, slanted, so it's actually cut off on the end. Like some of them are really, really bad. So you gotta be careful and you gotta take a good look. But when you find one that's done well, it's like an amazing deal for $1.25. Just definitely be careful. It might look great on the front, but take it out, inspect it, twirl it around, give it a look and um, pick one out that's actually done really nicely. Then I did pick up a couple more mugs. These ones are for me to go in my home. So I got this one here that has the cups of hot chocolate or coffee on it, which I thought was really cute because you're drinking your hot chocolate or coffee out of a cup that has it on it. Kind of that double thing again, which is cute. And then I picked up the one with the Christmas camper on there. And I love the dark green in the background. I thought that was a really nice touch. Then I also found this one. I do believe it's um, from last year because I don't see too many of the ladies hauling it this time around, which leads me to believe it's probably old stock, but it's new to me anyways. I definitely did not see this one at my Dollar Tree. So it says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And it's got the red truck on there. And it actually says, be merry on the door. And it does have the pattern on both sides, which is nice. And then I also picked up the travel mug, I think again from last year that says there's no place like home. And again with the red truck. Um, I know a lot of the haulers have been picking up the red truck one that has like a lot of little red trucks and then it has like the uh, sleeve, the um, rubber sleeve around it, but I'm actually not a big fan. I like how this one you get the full pattern here. It's unfortunate that they don't have it on the back, so it is only on the one side, but I still like this design a lot better than the one they put out this year. And then I absolutely love this mug. So it is quite large in comparison to the other mugs. I mean, that one's, that one's actually fairly similar, but you can see it does increase it quite a bit. Um, a little bit larger. Got another, I guess, an inch on the top there. And this is such an amazing size that you could even use it for like a soup or a chili. It doesn't need to be for a hot beverage. You could also fill this up with candy, wrap it in cellophane, and give it as a gift as well. But I just thought he was super duper cute. I love that his nose is actually 3D. I thought that was such a cute little um, uh, detail about this mug, so I was happy to find it. And then I did pick up two of the large storage bins. So these are um, great for gifting and it's also great just for taking to like holiday parties when you're bringing cookies with you. And this one I thought my kids would really get a kick out of because it says Santa's cookies. So once we're done baking cookies for the kids, we can put them in here and that way on um, Christmas Eve, we can pull them out and put them on a plate for Santa. But I just thought that that, like, um, the patchwork in the back was really nice with the red and then the nice text in the middle. And it's a good size. Like, you could actually put, um, like, an appetizer in here. You could fit, like, a little lasagna. You could literally use it for anything that you want. It doesn't have to be for cookies or baked goods. But that's what I picked them up for. And then, of course, I did find the one with the red truck on it as well. And I think it was, um, 
uh, Karen from K is for Karen who mentioned that it actually says Merry Christmas, which is hard to find sometimes. A lot of the time they change it to Happy Holidays or, um, um, you know, best wishes for a holiday season, something like that. So this one actually says Merry Christmas. What does bother me a tiny little bit though is that the M isn't capitalized, which looks a little weird. I've noticed that quite a bit on um, the Dollar Tree items that they put out, especially for the holiday holiday times. There was a, um, a Halloween sign, I think it was one of their little woodblock ones that said trick or treat, but every other letter except for like the E was capitalized and it was really weird because it was just something like that that stuck out at me. It could be just because I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, but I thought it was still such a cute pattern that I would pick it up and great for bringing my holiday treats around. Then the last thing, oops, let me verify, yes, the last thing that I picked up are uh, two more tins and these are the little mailboxes. Now I've used these previously um, over the last, I want to say like three years. And I actually use these for my kids as their advent calendars. So you know how you can go to Walmart or even the dollar store and you get the advent calendars that are cardboard and then they have the chocolate for each of the days as your countdown to Christmas. That's what I had when I was growing up. Um, but when I found, even when I was little, is that you'd lose track of it, you wouldn't end up eating all the chocolate, sometimes you'd eat like 10 days all in one day because you had forgotten. My brother was bad for opening all his doors, eating all his chocolate, and then closing up his doors so that my parents wouldn't know. And I bet you a bunch of kids did that as well. Um, so when I had kids, I decided to do something a little bit different. So when I first found these a couple years ago, um, what I decided to do is that um, not every day because it could get a little bit more expensive than the chocolate advent calendar But every few days I would put a little treat in their little mailbox for them And I love that they have the little flag on the side um, And they open up like your little traditional mailbox there So every couple days I would put a little treat in there and then put up the flag and leave them out on the Like breakfast table for the kids when they came down so the reason I got two new ones is because after a while the uh, hinge wears out here so I have a couple where the lid isn't attached and then the flag also gets a little loose so it was time to get a couple more. Um, I did pick up this one with the red truck and the snowman that has the camper on the front which I thought was just super super cute and then I did get this one that has the snowman and the penguin on the front and then Santa with a reindeer a little puppy and another penguin on the side really really detailed really cute again has that nice stiff flag on the side to indicate that there's a little treat in there um, if you're interested in seeing a video where I kind of show you the ideas that I have and the things that I've picked up for this go around for their advent calendars um, please let me know in the comments I don't want to get too much into detail um, in the haul video so if that's something you'd be interested in seeing let me know um, I typically, excuse me, get them at least 10 to 12 different treats for over the uh, December month. Um, and I can, you know, kind of talk about that and how I go about choosing those items for them. So that's it for my haul for today. I was super excited to see so much Christmas uh, showing up at my local stores. Like I said, it's my favorite time of the year. I love gift giving. I love spending time with family and friends and especially my kids. Um, and I hope that over the holiday season that I can even build my um, YouTube family a little bit more, get some friend mail and some Christmas letters sent out, um, and just, you know, grow my channel a little bit. I'm really excited and really happy when I get time to do these videos, and I'm uh, so happy with all the positive feedback and all the subscribers that I've been getting. We are actually close to a hundred subscribers here and I did mention in a previous haul that once I get to a hundred I will be doing a giveaway to celebrate that. So I think I'm at 90 now so only 10 more to go so if you know anyone that you think would enjoy my channel definitely do share it with them. Um, get them to subscribe, click the little bell for notifications, and hopefully we can get to that 100 subscriber point giveaway really, really soon. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching.